Hello and welcome. Um, I thought in this video I am going to tell you a story. So there is no advice in this video. So if you are not interested, best if you switch it off right now. It's a story about betrayal. And this betrayal, what I'm going to tell you, hasn't happened in this life. So what I want to point out that there are things, situations, feelings, we don't understand why I react to, this, uh, to certain situations or people this way. And uh, you can think about it, meditate on it as much as you want. You still won't find the meaning or the reason. Because, I'm going to put it out there, that might be past life situation. So, here is my story. I try to tell this story without uh, calling names or kind of pointing on a person. So it might be a bit confusing, but just please bear with me. So um, I seen an article um, about a person and this person always does good things and always. And I see, I, I, I seen this um, in a period of time. And uh, I don't really pay attention to this person, but it, it kind of just, you know, it just comes and I see it. And I always was like that, no, I don't feel this person. I see that the person does lots of good, good things, but personally, I don't feel it. I'm always waiting for that moment when I can say that, aha, I knew it. And I was like really surprised. In a sense, I was surprised because I'm not like that, because what else can that person do? Like it kind of does what it does and it shows what it shows. But I, I didn't trust and I don't I didn't know why or I, yeah, why I didn't. And uh, so I was always like, you know, distant, distant. And uh, however, uh, I must uh, say that this person probably doesn't even know that I'm alive. I, we never talked, we never seen each other. We never sent any messages to each other. So probably, you know, we, we have no connection, basically nothing. And uh, then I seen this article and uh, with a picture and it was like, I, so again, I don't want to go into details. So yeah, so it's going to be a bit confusing. And in my heart, I was like, oh, okay, I, I see you. Now I see you. And I was like, oh my God, like, I really misjudged this person and I felt so ashamed and I was I was in tears crying for a person I don't even know that, that that's that's why I thought that this is certainly strange ridiculous and then I thought am I jealous no I'm not jealous because I kind of dealt with that thing I can uh, when it kind of tries to mm, appear in my life I know how to grab it I'm, I'm not working with, with the jealous jealousy and all these energies anymore I really try to I don't have to like okay I, I put it into bed I know like what's what so yeah I wasn't jealous so I didn't understand why why did I feel like so relieved and why I was crying when I seen this like picture and then I read the article again and I looked at the picture. But between this, I, it was like at least half an hour when I was like kind of like crying. And I'm like, oh my God, this is like so weird, like really weird. And like ridiculous or bizarre or I don't know. Then I looked at it again and I read it again. And I was like, oh no. So this is again was like a setup thing to promote good. But it was still a setup. And the first thing which, which came to my mind was you are still lying like this, like really strongly. I think I, I even thought about this in English for some reason. And, uh, and I was like, oh my God, this is like really like, why am I upset now? Like really upset. And I felt like, like somebody hit me in the head and you are like so drawn emotionally and everything. And this like still lying, lying. And uh, I talked with my friend about it and um, we decided to go into the life language thing. And, uh, and she told me that it might be jealousy or betrayal. And I said, no, it's not jealousy because I, I dealt with that uh, way, way, way back, like um, general jealousy. What is jealousy? 
so it's betrayal. But how can this person betray me if we don't even know each other? So this is how, how bizarre it is. So I draw it. I draw it in light language and then it came out. And uh, so my so this is what I wanted to tell you that there are some things that uh, you can't really it, it, it didn't happen in this life. It, it, it has a root in a past and I have to deal with this. However, I decided that I have nothing to do with this person. And how this drawing out works for me. So with the light language, um, I'm pretty much into symbols. So on a page when we do light language or when I do light language, it's a lot of chatter. And then I do many, many pages and then I find the symbol if I work on a team, let's say addiction. And I work on this chatter till I, I get the symbol, I put together the symbol. And how I know it's right is because with light language you really feel it really strongly in a body. So you would feel it, you would feel it, it, it would make like a vibration in your body, seriously. And uh, so I got, let's say, the, the symbol or the drawing of um, addiction. So it doesn't mean that if you use the symbol you're gonna get addicted because that's not the point. It's the, the point is that when you see the symbol, it's gonna go into certain parts of your body and you can work through your addiction. So it's uh, just to face up, let's say the problem, whatever the symbol is. And what I'm doing is that I am switching it. So let's say from addiction, release of addiction, and then you're gonna get the release. And um, I did, what was the last I did? Um, yeah, actually it was addiction because when I, when I came up with addiction, I was like, okay, I leave it as it is and I work with it. And then it came to me to reverse it. Like it doesn't mean that you reverse the image, you have to add more things and then it makes sense. And I really felt it in my limbs, like physically. So that's why I know that, uh, that's why I knew that this is about releasing addiction in a physical way. So it's not mentally, not in a mind, but in a physical, in a, in a physical body. So, so anyhow, so going back to the story, I, um, so I got my symbol and I was like, it was such a relief. It was such a relief. I was like crying that I knew that, uh, and the, the symbol is ultimate betrayal. And then it just like, it was, I'm not saying it was overwhelming, but it, it didn't hit me here or here or my stomach or my leg or whatever. It was like, it, it covered, it covered, it was like a big thing. And what I should do with this symbol, I didn't, I must admit, I didn't dare to look at it. Um, I go deeper with it, is to keep drawing, not that one, but the whole story. And and then I'm gonna get my reversal. So that's why I'm saying that sometimes um, there are things in, in our body or reactions which are not from this life. And uh, that's why like working on yourself is like a never ending story basically, because you, you just don't know. And it might turn out that, okay, maybe I'm gonna use a strong word. I have no. I'm not gonna use a strong word. Sorry. I I dislike this person, so I had like my distance seriously. But it doesn't mean that if I would dig deeper, I didn't do some really big betrayal somewhere down the line. You never know. So you know you have to be open to this to to accept yourself in so many levels, not just in this level, but that's. Uh, that's not the point, and that's not why I'm telling this story. I'm telling this story that sometimes, the bottom line is that sometimes things have happened uh, with you or you've done things which weren't done in this life and you won't be able probably to sort it just by thinking about it, but you can definitely discover it and reopen it if you wish so. And this is it. And where we are going with this, actually, so what is the point of this, is to, you you can make amends, I would say, because um, we kind of keep everything in our DNA. 
so structurally it's gonna the release also will built in and hopefully clears that thing out so yeah that's why i'm i'm really i really in love with light language at the moment because i find it like um i find it that it doesn't use words as such so for an example i could i try to explain this to my mom like um i could say that um Mm, I don't know, lighter, so we call it like a lighter light, but uh, I could say it in light language in so many different ways. So maybe you would say in my uh, language it's a lighter, but in your dialect it would be um, something which uh, gives light uh, or um, a box in light with light in it or whatever. So it almost has also different layers and it's really fluid. But what it does, it doesn't, as I said, it doesn't really go into the into the mind as such. Like you don't really understand it at first, but it kind of goes into your body and releases through this. And it has tremendous um, energy. So, yeah. So that's why I'm going to carry on doing that, I think. But yeah, that would have been the story for today. So... What, what did I decide to do? Obviously, I said I, I haven't looked into my drawing anymore. I, I let it be. I let it be. I let that because that image is so in me that it just it went into me kind of already. Like, you know, when you see something nice or horrible and like kind of it burns into your eye, burns into your mind, burns into your DNA kind of thing. So I let it. I let it be. I let it. I let it rest. And when I can focus purely just on that I'm gonna dig deeper now some people could ask that what is actually the point of going back to all this well I didn't want it to go back to all this it just came out so that this is it it had it there was a time for it to come out because otherwise I wouldn't have made such a bizarre reaction towards someone a stupid picture a stupid um, article or whatever i don't even know what is that that's not like you know that's like it felt like really personal and connected so that's why i decided that i that was a time for me to look into it but i only went this far at the moment and uh, and yeah so it's really is interesting i would say so yeah i think um <laughs> I'm gonna stop here now because then it's gonna be like a monologue <laughs> um, well thank you very much if you choose to listen to this and uh, yeah thank you have a lovely day